Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 15 April 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Oudendahl writes that the first Spectrum auction in over a decade is seen as a watershed moment. The widely celebrated conclusion of South Africa's first high demand spectrum auction in well over a decade has been hailed as a welcome milestone that could lead to lower communication costs, expanded network reach to rural and outlying areas, improved network quality and enhanced competition. The engineering news features focus on building the hydrogen economy, where the green hydrogen economy will bring opportunities for South Africa. Generators and standby power, with the Bedford View Italian Club choosing a local specialist to keep the lights on. And Automotive Assembly in Africa, where the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers commits to developing the automotive sector across Africa. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Tanzania, where an oxide mill expansion is successfully ramped up and outsourced mining services, where employment solutions enable companies to focus on their core objectives. This week's business leader is Becky Villacazi, MD of SVA International. And as this week's cartoon shows, state-owned freight logistics group Transnet is turning to the private sector in a bid to revive the fortunes of two underperforming rail corridors. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.